Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for the love of glitter. Today is actually a collab with Simply Mara Marina. She used to be Makeup with Mara and we have actually collabed before together. So that name might sound pretty fam familiar. That might sound pretty familiar to you guys. Um, and we both decided to pick up the Kathleen Lights Times ColourPop collection. It's their holiday collection. Mine was supposed to be here on Monday and didn't get here till Thursday. And we leave for Arizona tomorrow. So that kind of put a damper on trying to get this up sooner for you guys. I apologize. But she had decided that she wants to do a more red look so she's going to use a lot of the reds and then I said that I'd use a lot of the other colors. I ended up using I think every single eyeshadow. I didn't really have anything specific planned for a look but now if you guys have been following me for a long time you know that I'm not the most comfortable with tutorials. It's something that I'm still working on. I just don't feel like I'm the best with makeup. Um, like for every day I think I'm fine but for like tutorials I feel like people want to see like high glam intense fake eyelashes and I'm just not really I mean I know fake eyelashes make everything look better but I'm just not into wearing them every day so yeah so here it is so I feel so unprepared to do a video <laughs> We'll see how this goes. I promise you will hear lots of noises upstairs because my husband and Ducklin are playing together. He is not napping. He is what awake. So I do know that Ma. I was like, I hurt my face. I do know that Mata is planning on using the red lipstick. So here is the lip options. I do have a lip liner on and it is the Bretman Rock, I think it's called BFF3 lip liner. It's just kind of like a darker nude brown color. But here are the shades. I do kind of still want to do like a swatch video for you guys. So I'm going to use Little Star today since she's going to do the red ultra satin. I'm super excited about the shade too. So. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about this shade. So let's go ahead and see what it's like. I love this color. So it kind of reminds me of Bumble, but more red tone to it. Um, not so brown. is definitely like a deep muted red brown and I'm actually really really liking this color yeah I like this kind of tempted to put nightlight on top because nightlight just looks so stinking pretty to me I haven't even swatched this yet let me swatch it just I have some. it's like bronze mm, go so I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but I am going to take this Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad palette um, with a fluffy brush and just put some brown into the crease so we have something to kind of go off of. And I'm going to start off with this transition color just because I feel like you could wear these just all over the lid, but I feel like if I was really doing a look with this, I would want... some color in the crease. Oh, here is Vela. Do you see that awesome reflective? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, you guys. So I'm just gonna take my finger. Ooh, this reflects more in my eye than I thought it would, honestly. These are all very kind of pink toned. I feel like like they don't look very pink. Wow. In my ring light, that is very reflective. It's really pretty. It's honestly prettier on the eye than I thought it would be. It has like this gorgeous kind of purple pink crazy iridescence to it. It's really, really pretty.
but I do wish it was a little bit more intense sparkle. I think if this was more intense sparkle, it would take it to a whole nother level. Um, but you know, for everyday wear, it's fine. I just really like super intense sparkle, as you guys should know. So that is really pretty. Now we're going to go up with light up. We're going to top it. We're going to just put it all over because this one I feel like is pretty sheer and just gives more of the shine. So I feel like these two together will be amazing. Mm-hmm. Just amping up the sparkle. Adding a little bit of light peach to it too. There is nothing better than feeling like a brand new Super Shock. It's just amazing. So this Ultra Metallic is honestly performing a little bit more similar to, to their Ultra Glitters. Um, like it doesn't have like a ton of background pigment. I add a little bit more eyeshadow in the crease. Still going with this warmer brown right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going to take this, I think it's called Gleam. <clears throat> Listen, this is kind of like a matte shade. I'm swatching them still because I want to know what I'm working with. So, a lot of this look you're going to get kind of a peachier look, which I like. I just feel like it doesn't go with these lips that well. Um, I feel like more nudie peach. Oh. I was like, this would be a good brow bone highlight, but not on my skin tone. <laughs> That's alright. Okay, it looks a little bit better than I thought it would. But this kind of has a cool tint to it that I couldn't really tell in the swatch. But it's nothing too crazy. Like, I'm like, I want to put it in my inner corner, but is it going to mess everything up? I don't know. And so... It kind of brightens a little bit, but I heard this is best for like all over the lid, which I think would look really pretty. Like we gotta try some of the red, right? Like there's a red in here for a reason. So this is in the shade Blitzen. Have not swatched it yet. Okay, this is pretty. This would almost look pretty dabbed on top of the other red lipstick. There we go. Okay, so should we? Should we do this? I feel like yes and I feel like no at the same time. <sighs> Let's go wild. Let's do it. Okay. Mm, yeah, I should not have done that. <laughs> much better before but now we know this always happens to me in all my videos I always go overboard thinking something will work out and then I end up looking like a raving lunatic oh well but back into more wet and wild because I kind of want to deepen that bright red I just put in my, like, of, of course, like, why did I expect it not to be bright red? I don't know. Taking a light brown. I'm going to put it underneath. Do you hear that clinking? It's because my son walks around with little, like, plastic things. Okay, so I'm going to put on concealer to clean this up. Just like, and put on some more mascara. I might even take this off and just put on lip gloss, honestly. 
is the final look. I did add some highlighter to my inner corners because I just need a pop, <laughs> a shiny pop of color. Um, so that is something else I did off camera. So I think I'm going to put this lip gloss on by itself because I'm not liking how any of the lips are actually going with this look. I feel like if there was like a peachy new type of color i think that's what i would prefer um i don't like the pinkish shimmery lip gloss by itself i think it looked really pretty on a nude but i'm not digging it by itself um and yeah i just wish it was like a maybe like medium tone peachy nude color this color is gorgeous though yeah i think i think we're just gonna stick with this gloss because I think this is the final look. I do. I should have put like lip liner or something on. So something I'm realizing from doing this video um, and like jumping into trying to do a tutorial with this stuff instead of just swatching it first is it's shown me that this like these two together it's a little bit difficult to create like a full look with I feel like you do need to add something else to like the crease like I said for like everyday wear I would have no problem just putting one of these colors on the lid maybe putting a gloss on I do wish there was kind of a more like peachy ish color because I feel like these are very like pinky peachy um type of eyeshadows with the exception of the red so that I think would have been nice and would have helped tie a look together using these two but that's really I mean apart from that and I'm sure like other people can totally create looks because you guys are probably way more creative than I am <laughs> but I mean I really like these eyeshadows they all performed super shock shadows are just truly amazing and they're really pretty i do think that i have a couple of shades that are similar to some of these but they are really pretty nonetheless um you do get some pretty shifty type shades so that's really pretty and then i really like the lip set even though necessarily not with these eyeshadows i do think i'll get a lot of use out of them i really love the lip gloss i think it has just this really beautiful multi-dimensional look to it it's gorgeous um the kind of nudish one i feel like is it's not like my favorite on its own it kind of reminds me like it brings me back to like really like thicker lip glosses like we used to wear I think with a nude though dabbed in the center it will look gorgeous and it'll make you have like plumper fuller looking lips um, or maybe with like a lip liner but I'm not really digging that shade that much. I haven't even tried the red matte lipstick yet so I don't even know it's actually it's an ultra matte I'm sorry but I'm sure it's it's an ultra satin. It looks like a blue red shade so really beautiful for the holidays. Um, if you like Kathleen Lights, I would buy this to support her, but it's also affordable and it's pretty makeup. Um, I would make a beautiful gift for somebody. It's packaged so beautifully, and yeah, I don't have really anything negative to say about it, just like different color options of what I would have done, but maybe that's just me being selfish, so. <laughs> don't forget to check out Simply Mara Marina's channel because she is doing a look as well, and I will link her down below. She's a really awesome person. She changed her channel name because she's not just doing makeup anymore. She has a lot of budgeting videos, a lot of planner stuff, so you should go check her out. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and you all have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's good, and stay safe. Bye.